And now you're the you're the little newbie. Yeah, well when I when I turned up my first day, I almost wanted to bring my little wall black book and get everyone to sign it, but well, I've just had to do it quietly and pretend that I'm doing it in a sort of cool yeah, way. Yeah, cool yeah, I'm like. out, so uh, I've had to do it a bit more subtle, but you know, it's, it's been awesome. Also, yeah. you know, it's a dream come true. And, Absolutely. Um, yeah, I was just just real happy to be here. Real happy to be with the guys. Richard, how do the all blacks stay safe on the night? Well, like, usually when we go up, we go up to a, a, like, probably like a safe bar. Yeah. Um, we go somewhere where it's already been pre-organised, you know, so they, they sort of monitor the clientele coming in and out. Uh, we have the security guards here that just to help to keep us out of trouble and to help yeah. stop trouble getting to us. So, uh, and, and then again, it's just, it's just common sense. Uh, you know, every, if you want to have a few beers, you know, that, that's alright, but it's just doing it in moderation and doing it, you know, Make smart choices. You, you know, must have to sort of be aware of a timeline nowadays. Some awareness needs to be kept. I'm assuming. Yeah, you know, like I remember back in the old days when you'd, you'd have a few drinks and you might you know, throw a glass somewhere, throw it on the floor, things like that. Yeah. It's just you just got to be a bit smarter now. You know, it's about being a bit more uh, considerate to other people and yeah. you know, just just being smart, not doing stupid things. Right now, now you know, as an all black, we we. The public own you. Yes. We own you. Yes. And we love to tell you what we think, and we've got I've got the opportunity now to tell you what you think. But I want you to tell me, deep, deep down in your heart of hearts, just between you, me, and the rest of the yes. water, yes. what you would like to say to all of those fucking all those other rules. Oh, Jesus, there's a few other than me. probably just a, a few more. People that are, are passionate about the All Blacks, yeah. you know, passionate about the team, they're always going to have their opinion. And um, we certainly don't want them to stop having their opinion, but obviously, um, you know, it, it's it's tough at this level. You know, tough to win every game and against great, like, great sides like the World Champions South Africa and Australia. Um, you know, times can get a bit tough, and, and when times are tough, it's, um, it's easy to kick someone when they're down, but just... What are your whanau like? Are your whanau really... Are I'm just not, I'm thinking of Māori aunties and Māori nannies and Māori kuia have got a lot to say. What are your aunties and your uncles like? Do they have a lot to say about the game? The game? Uh, no, no, they, they're pretty quiet. They just treat me like normal. They don't really talk yet. You know, they might talk for about five or ten minutes about the rugby, but um, they're, not, they're, they're pretty, just, just let me be. And yeah. I probably get the most advice from, from my best mates or uh, well, my dad might give me a 